I'm Aaron Freeman with the Chicago Council on Science and Technology. I know that like all real Americans, you're a Cubs fan, but I was wondering if you could explain neurobiologically the difference between the brains of Cubs fans and those of people lower on the evolutionary totem pole. Okay, great question. Much of it has to do with this neurotransmitter dopamine. Dopamine, cocaine works on dopamine systems. It's about reward. That's what people used to think. Take, for example, a monkey and give him an unexpected reward and these pathways of dopamine activate. Ah, dopamine is about reward. It's much more interesting than that. Now instead train the monkey that when a signal comes on, a little light comes on, and what happens then is if the monkey presses a lever a bunch of times, it then gets a reward. It's learned this. So now, when this is occurring, when does the dopamine rise? When the Cubs win the World Series and the whole city stays drunk for a week. No, when the signal comes on. This is the monkey sitting there saying, I know how this works. I got this down cold. Okay, it's one of those press the levers. I'm all on top of this. Dopamine is not about reward. Dopamine is about the anticipation of reward. Okay, so I understand that Chicago Cubs fans sustain higher levels of dopamine over long periods of time, but how do we sustain those high levels despite decade after decade of heartbreak? Remarkably interesting subtle study done by Wolfram Schultz and colleagues. In this scenario, the monkey presses the lever and it gets a reward 100% of the time. Now instead, it gets the reward unpredictably an average of only 50% of the time. What happens then to dopamine when the signal comes on it goes through the roof. What have you just added into the equation? The word maybe. Like maybe this year. Nothing drives us to do stuff, to work in a goal-directed way than a maybe thrown in there. And it's that cusp, that fulcrum that gets generating. The psychologists who run Las Vegas have understood this forever. And what we see here is the exact same principle in the neurochemistry of another species. So what's unique about us in that regard? Just the incredible extent with which we are willing to delay the lag time between the signal and the lever pressing and when the reward comes and we have entire ideologies and theologies built around the reward will come in the afterlife, the reward will come unto the generations after you, this is unique. Please join me in saying thank you to Dr. Sapolsky. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment. I post every Thursday, so subscribe if you'd like some more science videos. And when the Cubs win the World Series, may we all say, as Dr. Zapolsky might in his native Russian, Savodnya sami lukshidene vimoye zhizny.